Hey guys, what's up? So I started Sagittarius reading yesterday, but and then I just felt overwhelmed. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into your reading again. This time I'm I'm, I'm gonna make it through. Alrighty, so we're gonna do a past, present, and uh, future reading for you and your person's energy and see what's going on. But first of all, we wanna check out the overall energy. Please like and subscribe my YouTube to my YouTube channel, Star Card Tarot. Let the star guide you, um, for it helps the channel grow. And it's completely free to like, subscribe, and share, okay? So we all know the rules of tarot. Time is fluid. Energies are interchangeable. So please uh, place yourself where you see fit in the story. Now, of course, tarot reading, it, it's, you have your own free will to take the messages, how they resonate. And apply it to your life or not you know these are uh, messages from the divine so if you're watching it and you're tuning in you know you have free will to take the uh, messages and apply it to your life or not so spirit come down with probable messages seen and unseen energies here I ask for the highest the highest probability grand suggestions here for Sagittarius Sagittarius June 2020 Sun Moon Rising Venus Jupiter what is the energy for Sagittarius what is the energy we want to know we want to know what is the energy for Sagittarius June 2020 spirit come down with probable messages what is the overall energy for June 2020 okay so we have dance move your body to music dance with the rhythm of life manifest your drama i'm sorry manifest your dreams through dance oh my god i love dancing i'm a sagittarius moon so that definitely resonates i do sit in the living room and dance when i work out i'll be dancing between workouts so it feels really good and liberating to just dance dance off the negative energy and then release the serotonin you know prosperity i did see this energy when i was uh pre-shuffling miracle so you guys have money coming in if you guys were waiting on something to give um you guys are gonna see reap some benefits here in um sorry y'all uh june i do see you re reaping benefits it does say miracles on this one okay miracles <clears throat> have faith that your miracles is on the way your prayer has been answered. Surrender to how? How, how am I going to remain open to the, the miracles? And I'm, I'm willing and open to receiving. Um, and then that's right beside prosperity, right? A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finance, finances with love. So if you guys are waiting on your stimulus check, your taxes, or just waiting for things to open back up, waiting to get back to work, or if you guys are working... Huh. waiting on your business to like start booming again you guys are going to reap some benefits june 2020 okay so thank you sir for for that uh, oh we have courage over here for some reason so have courage stay strong keep that strength right as you wait for this to open up uh yeah sometimes my cards get so mixed up and it's crazy Thank you, unicorns. The spirit of the unicorns. All right, so we're going to be doing the light series deck. We're going to dive right in to Sagittarius energy, June 2020. Spirit, come down with probable messages. I ask to be the conduit and channel and energies for the Sagittarius. Sun and rising, Venus, Jupiter. Spirit, come down. I ask that the energies flow through me. I ask to convey clear and concise messages. Spirit, come down. I ask to be covered with white light during this process. I ask for spirits to come down with unconditional love and guidance. All right, we're going to do the uh, past. See what was going on in the past. Okay, in the past. So it looks like in the past here, um, you have the full card, Aries and Aquarius energy, the strength card, and the queen of pentacles. So it looks like in the past, you may have embarked on a journey foolishly to get money. 
is what I'm seeing here. We barked on a journey foolishly to get money. We went down a path that probably no one believed in or no one thought it was the best path for, path for us. Um, Sagittarius in Aquarius energy reminds me of the, the same type of optimistic energy. So being a fool, <laughs> Sagittarius being overly optimistic and having a mental strength to know that they can still go out there, do what they have, their own free will, their own free spirit to go out there and still produce money. And it does look like you guys have the capability of still producing money. In the past, you guys um, had the mental strength to go in and do whatever it took for you to embark on a journey that no one else believed in, right? And then you sitting there with your coin like, up. Oh, I told you so. Didn't I tell you I was going to get that bag? Didn't I tell you? And I'm, I'm going to go through and clarify those. So I see that um, whenever you, you bark on your journey fearlessly, Sagittarius, you, you, you maintain the mental strength, I feel like, to block everyone else out. To block out the naysayers and the people who say that you can't do that. And you be like, watch. All right, bet. I, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, right? I'm, I'm going I'm to show you that I'm going to boss up on that ass is what I'm sensing here. And, and comfortable, too. You see how pretty she's sitting? Okay. Don't play now. All right, so what's going, what's going on in the... Um, so that was the past. In the present, I do see here some wheels are turning, right? Karmic energies. You have experienced some karmic cycles here, and you probably experienced being left out in the cold, right? So you embarked on a journey. Everything was going good, right? But what goes up must come down. What comes down must go up. So it looks like you might have hit a downfall, yep. Because you have the five of pentacles, you have the will of fortune, your karmic energy cycling around. That five, that disruption coming in, some breakdowns had to happen in the tower card. So some things have to get breaking down. Looks like your finances probably got broken down right now in the present. You might have be having some financial difficulties here. Um, so money is not looking um, as good as it used to. And right now we could be having the strength to... Um, go through to um handle this this disruption someone's locked out the house without a key this is my locked out the house without a key someone got put out right that out every time i see that card i see that sagittarius this is your energy here sagittarius you could be dealing with an aries um you could be dealing with the leo you could be dealing with the aquarius a scorpio or a capricorn Vir Virgo or Taurus energy is all here. You have some major arcanas here, so, so there's some really big shifts coming your way. There's some big shifts that happened in the past. There's some big shifts that are happening now. So it looks like some big shifts are continuing, continuing, continuously happening um, with you, right? Right. All right, um, and I'm going to go through and clarify the past, present, and future. So what's going on now? I do see that going out and being a fool has worked for you always but remember that that karmic will is it, it things are always guided by unknown sources right forces we have to remember that when things are good they're not always going to be good and i think with the Sagittarius energy, they're so optimistic that things are always good. So when things are bad, it probably feels horrible, right? Because you could be not going through something that's that tough. But it does feel like someone you got left out, out in the cold with no key. But then it's like the key is really right there, right? You take a look, someone left you outside with the key. We just not looking at the key, right? So the situation is not as bad as it presumes to be. I see balance coming back in here in the, the near future here, right? Spirit, expand on this reading. I feel like we're gaining our passions back up. Maybe we lost like our spiritual will, our spiritual drive, our, our passion, right? Some of you could be traveling here with the Two of Wands. 
there could be some distance between you and a Libra here or just you and balance. You could be feeling like, wow, I feel like I'm off balance, right? We need to bring things back into balance. We need to a clear perspective. When I see this, see this sword, I feel like there needs to be a, a clear perspective here. Um, and bring your things back into balance with your passions, your spiritual passions. I feel like there's some distance between you and what you feel passionate about. And I feel like because this card actually came out kind of sideways, I feel like we're coming back upright with understanding like what it is that we're passionate about. And we're going to cover the space between that. We're going to uh, create a bridge so you can get back to your passion is what I'm feeling here in the, um, the near future. So, as I said, um, in the past, we embarked on our journey with, with just hope and faith with spirit, with our spiritual guides on our side, having strength that everything is going to work out fine, and having strength, again, to get past the naysayers. And then, again, we, we always end up sitting pretty on our throne, right? Sitting, She's just so beautiful. I love the way she looks. I mean, just bossy with her bag. And just all her grace and glory, right? Not over boasting, but not being shadowed in anybody's fucking light. You know, people like to use their own light to overshadow you. So, some disruptions came here. This could possibly do, have to do with the pandemic. Karmic cycles came in. What goes up must come down. But again, I see us getting back to our spiritual passions. Back to that Sagittarius energy. Things are balancing out here. There's a lot of energy here um, when it comes to Aries, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So let me go ahead and clarify. Clarify the full card. Clarify the full card. Clarify the full card, Spirit. Clarify the full card. Ooh, okay, all right. A lot of passion. It, that, <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that we have a lot of passion here. So clarifying the full card, we have the six. <laughs> the six of wands, which doesn't shock me at all because that's uh, Sagittarius energy. Feeling like victorious at all times. with No matter what they do. Embarking on the endeavors. No matter if someone believes in it as or not. No matter if they look like the fool or not. They trust their inner spirit. Their inner guide. And they, they are victorious with that. They feel like every optimistic moment is, is victorious. Like I, They feel good about it. They're praised. And believe it or not, when people don't have the courage to embark and let their inner guide their inner knowing their intuition guide them there's people who are cheering you on as well like people feel like oh my god i wish i was as bold as her or them you know whoever it is so that six of wands clarifying the full card is definitely matched energy there um as many people despite that who just as many people that despise that energy of you being optimistic and always happy and go lucky, there's also a few people sitting there uh, wishing that they could be just like that. Okay? Clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength card for Sagittarius, please. Clarify the strength card. Oh. The strength on top of the strength, right? You guys, it, it just reminds me of willpower. Having a willpower, like, you have to be strong to go out there and be unconventional and, unconventional and follow your inner guide and always be optimistic optimistic about what it is you want to do, the en endeavors that you want to bark on, embark on. I feel like that is infinite. It's, it's, it's never ending, right? You have this uh, infinity, infinity sign on top of, where is it? her hand right there and it's also here on top of her head so this is a, a willpower that never ever goes anywhere right and that's why it keeps you always in your bag always clarify the queen of pentacles spirit clarify the queen of pentacles spirit mm. seven of wands you're in your protective energy 
you protect your what you have worked hard for, right? You protect what people didn't believe in, right? You protect your bag and where you're sitting at. I worked hard here. Wait a minute, back up. You didn't believe I could do it. It's cool. Back up. You know, you're in your protective bubble. You defend the... Um, you defend the moves that you make because you know it's going to get you this. In your protective bubble. She looks like she is in her protective bubble for real. Seven of Wands, uh, it represents standing up for yourself. And it could be kind of defensive, but kind of defending yourself in a good way. You know, oh, that girl always running off doing this. Yes, I, I sure am always running off doing that, getting my bag. What are you doing? That's like it. Like, okay, yeah, I am. And what's next? So what, what are you doing again? Nothing? Did you, you have a little pinnacle? Oh, okay. I thought so. I thought so. Like that type of defensiveness, you know, reminds me of myself. Alrighty, so the Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. This is definitely Sagittarius energy. This is expansive energy. These right here always remind me of pentacles ruled by the planet Jupiter planet of expansion higher knowledge higher wisdom so Sagittarius you're always willing willing to be optimistic about what's out there what can you learn what can you do uh, what can you expand on justice card again hit the board okay so I feel like the, this karmic energy came to balance out some things right it just came to balance out some things. Um, again, what goes up must come down, right? I just feel like some truths were, were told here. Uh, some legal issues could be um, getting figured out here. Um, be, maybe some clarity there with, with uh, some legal issues that came around. Maybe it came and interrupted and took your money. And now things are coming back into balance. Because with this Five of Pentacles, which I'm about to clarify next... It seems like um, this off balance came with money, lack, lack of something. It could be lack of uh, some internal or external things. It could be lack of an actual physical home or it can be lack of a, a mate. A mate could have left you, you know what I mean? Or lack of money, lack of stability, lack mentality. Yeah. Clarify um, the five of pentacles, please, spirit guides come down with probable answers. Grand suggestions. I am here to receive and convey. Spirit, come down. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, not or. What am I thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? All right. Ooh, okay. Sun. Okay, so what I do see here, smack dab in the middle of the spread, like I said, you have the five of pentacles and you're outside with the key. So you can actually open a door so the situation doesn't seem as bad as you thought. And I feel like that, that light is going to be shined on that, right? This is also Leo energy. There's a lot of Leo energy, so someone could be dealing with a Leo. Um, so either someone's going to like give you the key or say, hey, the key right there. The key been in the mailbox the whole time or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, this sun also represents success. So whatever disruption or dark area or whatever you feel like you're lacking, um, you're actually going to come up out of that energy in June, okay? Things are going to be brighter, you know, more euphoric for you. Things are going to bring in light and success for you. Yeah, you're going to be able to step into your power here with the Emperor card. You're going to be able to feel like you're gaining more control of things. Like you're going to put your element and your planet in alignment June 2020. It just seems like there was some disrupt and you, you were kind of out of control. You didn't feel like you were really um, stable. Like you were lacking probably all the way across the board because you have the tower card. And when the tower card comes in, it comes in with all elements breaking down everything, okay? So you probably felt like everything was breaking down. But again, I feel like it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't that. The high priestess. So when I see the high priestess in the tower card, that t reminds me of internal breakdown. Um, someone could be possibly going through a shift of spiritual awakening. When you are lacking things, it kind of brings you to a place where you're like the hangman. 
and you have to do, you, you can't do anything but sit there and, and think about applied learning, right? You start thinking about, you know, I think that's when we start praying the most, right? We start, things start being uncovered, you know what I mean? Um, you start seeing like spirit animals and butterflies and things in synchronicities. Spirits start talking to you because you start praying the most, right? You start putting those energies down. When things are breaking down, all of a sudden we, we start, I pray every day to the divine. Because that's just what where I'm at in my life. Um, but before, I found myself just praying when I was going through hitting rock bottom, right? When a breakdown was happen, happening. When unexpected detours came upon me, you know, only to get me on the right track. So, I feel like with this breakdown, we're able to see. We get a higher knowing, a higher intelligence. Spirit comes down and is speaking to us, right? In all these different benevolent ways, right? These, these higher divine ways. We're receiving this information on a grand scale. And it's like internal. Like only you know what this means, right? I mean, you and uh, quite a few other people, but you as an individual knows what these totems mean to you, right? I think that's what they call them, totems. I, I think I said this was going to be about you and your person, but this is about, <laughs> this is definitely about awakening. It looks like it's about your divine journey. <clears throat> um, I don't see spirit wanting to talk about your person right now. <laughs> return. Mm, balance returns. You're able to harness the energy. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, um, with the Ace of Wands falling out, right, kind of sideways, I seen that passion, that ignite, that passion that kind of starts off that will of the year that, that keeps going. We keep expanding on that passion, expanding on that energy with the chariot. And that's exactly what I thought about when I seen the Ace of Wands, also with the two strength cards at the top in the past. I know that you have the energy to harness with two double, with two strength cards like that. It reminds me of the chariot taking two polar opposite energies and saying, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to put these energies together and go forward. You know, I'm going to bring the polarities of me together, harness the energy and bring forth success. I'm going to demand success. I'm going to use my passions to drive me towards success no matter what is non-negotiable. And that's why I see you creating, um, covering distance between you and what you feel passionate about. And I said that earlier because here we have balance returning. Balance returning with the Libra card, the balance, the justice card, I mean, and the return card. Balance is returning. We really feel good about it. We feel good in this space, you know, with balance returning. Yeah. Two of Wands. <laughs> Someone could be traveling. You could be traveling right now. Or wanting to travel as well. You could just be wanting to go out in nature, you know, because you've been cooped up in the house for so long. Don't forget to take your walking stick if you're going like on a hike. Feel like someone might go on a, a steep trail. Just take your walking stick with you. Someone could be playing pool. Someone could be getting together with friends now that things are opening back up and playing pool. <laughs> you might have a pool, a, a red pool stick. Yeah. Like a, a signature pool stick. Clarify this two of wands. Just comfortable. Someone has really big windows in their house. We just been looking outside, looking at the people, probably saying, Ooh, you look like you breaking the essential rule. <laughs> we tired. We outside now, bitch. <laughs> look, two of wands. Spirit, come down with the uh with probable messages. Grand suggestions, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel that music. Yeah, yeah. I said, I don't see, don't see love. I'm still in love with you, girl. My hustler and a player, you know, I'm not a stayer. I said, I don't see, don't see love. 
You know what? That's so crazy. Because <clears throat> as I start to sing that, the Three of Swords comes out, which is typically like a heartbreak card. You might be at distance with someone that um, you really want to be close to right now. You might not be able to do some things still that you want to do. Again, I just feel like there's some distance between you and someone that you possibly feel passionate about as well is what I'm getting here. Yeah. You're returning back to someone you feel passionate about soon. You got the Wheel of Fortune here, Five of Cups. Yeah, you have some regrets about... um. Yeah, there's two people in this return card. So you're returning back to someone you feel passionate about. The page of, the page of, um, yeah, we're going to be collab. Yeah, pages, yeah. Ooh, that's where somebody, somebody is definitely returning back to somebody they feel passionate about, passionate about towards, yeah, to work on some things, to make some decisions. That was for somebody. So if you're waiting on somebody to return, they're returning like fast. They're returning real soon in the near future, I see here. And they're actually returning with quite a bit of passion. I mean, you have the someone's wanting to work on some things. You have the Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. They wanted to collaborate, get together. Um, this person obviously knows that, that they hurt you. But they, they're bringing in a, a fiery ball of energy, wanting to work together, collaborate. Uh, it looks like they want to work together in bed. I ain't going to lie. That was for somebody. For real, for real. Someone wants to get nasty. Um, all right, so what is the final advice here for uh, Sagittarius? What is the final advice for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I ask for clear messages. Clear and concise. What final advice do we have for Sagittarius? Spirit come down with probable messages. Oh, 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 oh. Two cards flipped over. So let us see here. Your commitment is being tested. Emotions are running high. So yeah, stay true to yourself, Sagittarius. I do see, like, I feel like your commitment to yourself, your commitment to your own personal power, your own personal drive uh, may be being tested here. Your emotions are running high. But I feel like you didn't have control of um, your situation for a while, but you will be stepping back into your power. You will be seeing success. You'll be uh, stepping back into the faith of who you are. Um, you will definitely feel empowered June 2020. That energy is definitely building up. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, um, and smack the bell. Peace.